Okay, Lily. <laughs> Stop it in the camera. <laughs> she says no She's vlogging so for excited. you. Hello and welcome back. This week I'm excited because I'm partnering with Inkberry Books out of Niowa again. So y'all are getting a sneak peek on my blog because the official article for the newspaper won't come out next week. This week I'm reviewing Carol Sampson's book, Goose Summer. It's a collection of short stories and I think because of that it's a little bit difficult to review. So like poetry books, when you have a collection of short stories, to me at least, each one kind of stands on its own. They might have a semblance of a common theme. Maybe um, there's reoccurring motifs, but I think really at their core, each st short story, like each poem is different. There are two sections of this book. They're each with about 11 stories. They vary in length, they vary in topic, but they're all told from first person. And I think that's kind of what I like most about these short stories. I didn't have a favorite and that's not to say that first person was what I liked most but I just liked how descriptive Samson is. So all of the narrators are unnamed. I think there might be one where someone kind of alludes to a name but it's so infrequent that you have someone talking to the narrator that it's almost like easily forgettable. But what I like about that though is because the character is unnamed, it's almost as though you're the character. It's almost like you're reflecting on the narrator's story as if it's yours. The first bit of the book all seem to be um, taking place in the past. They seem very nostalgic. There are some direct allusions to Kit Carson who um, was around in the 19th century. There are some allusions to kind of earlier American life. Not, I think that's really the only one that's like frontiersy, but it just feels very old. It almost feels like you're talking to your grandparents or maybe your great grandparents about when they were young. And there's one story that I particularly like at the first section of the book. It's called The Center of Ornament. And I liked this one because it focuses on this character named Twilla and these people in this town. There's just something about it that just feels very nostalgic. It feels like stories that I've heard about my parents and my grandparents living up in relatively small towns and how everybody kind of knows each other and you have these central places and how everyone remembers that one lady that worked in that one store. And it's just... It's very heartwarming. And then there are two stories in the sec second section. One's called The Center and the other one's called On Mercury. And again, they're, it's just kind of the story of, or these stories of like community, if you will. So The Center is, it really focuses on this woman, Donna, who's a physical therapist and all the things that both the narrator notices while with Donna and then also like the stories that Donna tells her. And then on Mercury tells kind of this story of this particular shop in town and how different people had inhabited the shop. Like at one point it was a diner and at another point it was a coffee shop. At one point it's a thermometer shop and just how things change but at the same time nothing ever really does. I just, I love the vivid imagery that Samson writes into her stories. I love how personal it is. As someone who really likes dialogue, I was surprised by how much I enjoyed it, considering there's really not a lot. Um, I was commenting, I just finished reading up um, one of the last stories called Two of One. And that one was particularly funny because it was one of the ones with the most dialogue. And there's this character named Isabel. And frankly, Isabel struck me as kind of a jerk. <laughs> she says she's speaking the truth. And her truths are always harsh sounding. And as much as you kind of are like, damn, Isabel, savage. Like, you know people who have said it. Like, everybody knows an Isabel. And I think that's really what I like about this book is that 
the stories are nostalgic. They do make you feel like you're just talking to someone and they're telling you their life story, but they're also just very accessible. They're relatable. Like the people described in them seem really real. But yeah, overall, it's a really solid read. I think if you like short stories, this is def definitely something worth checking out. If you're not really big on reading, um, thanks for watching a booktube channel. I think this is a good way to get into reading is just reading shorter stories because it's a good way to like be entertained for a little bit and then if you're feeling a little overwhelmed or need a break, it's really easy to stop. Um, I would have liked if there was a little bit more dialogue in some of the stories because I think that it just would have fleshed out some of them a little bit more. That said, the amount of dialogue in there was good. I liked that. Um, I feel like it's kind of hard to be like, I like the plot, I like the pacing, because obviously with short stories, they're each on their own. I can't really think of a reason why you wouldn't like the book, unless you just don't like realistic fiction, I suppose. That said, if realistic fiction is your jam, this is definitely a book worth checking out. So that's all I have for Goose Summer by Carol Sampson. I'm taking a brief hiatus for the month of April, but I'll be back in May. So happy reading and thanks.